the best movie I've seen this year, and I feel so bad because I gave Ben Affleck a lot of crap for it. The best movie I've seen this year was my, actually my favorite movie, was Batman vs. Superman. And Doctor Strange, I'm not sure if it's my favorite movie or if it's tied with Batman vs. Superman. So far, it's like tied with it because these two so far are the best movies of the year. And I'm thinking that Rogue One's gonna be my favorite, but we're not there yet. So the films to beat for me are Batman vs. Superman, Doctor Strange, and Suicide Squad. Not necessarily in that order, but Doctor Strange, Batman vs. Superman being at the top. Doctor Strange, so in case you don't know, Doctor Strange is an egotistical doctor and he's an egomaniac. He's super skilled with his hands. His hands are his everything. This is, this is his superpower before he becomes a superhero. During an accident, he loses the use of his hands during a car accident and he goes on this quest. He finds out about uh, this person called the Ancient One and the Ancient One can use special skills, magical skills, ancient old world skills to give him back his powers and make him even greater than he was before. He goes on a quest to find the ancient one because he wants to get back to being that guy. And you can't really blame him. You are who you are, right? You loved who you were and you want to go back there. I don't blame him. So that's where he sets off. He goes to Thailand to go after the Ancient One. It's basically his evolution from amazing doctor to hitting rock bottom to now finding out who he is now. Like, who is he now? Who, you know, he, he's in this realm with all these new powers and you know, all, all this. He's in a whole new world that he has to figure out who he is and how he fits out, how he fits in in this new world. And that's basically the story. I want to give away too much, no spoilers. So. Doctor Strange, you couldn't have cast this movie better if you tried. Benedict Cumberbatch is perfect, perfect, perfect. Doctor Strange is a little bit like Sherlock. It, in the, the BBC series, Sherlock is egotistical, he's smart, but he's likable. So Doctor Strange, you know, he has those carryover characteristics, so it, I think maybe that's why they cast him. They're like, well, he did so good here, and that's a big part of who Strange is. It could work. And he has that look, he does have that Doctor Strange look, he does have the look. So in terms of the comic, he fits, he works, he embodies him. So you really couldn't, I can't say enough good things about the casting. It just works on to the next. There was, now here's, a, here, since we're talking casting. Tilda Swanson, they did whitewash the Ancient One. Remember, I'm coming from the comic books. The Ancient One is an older oriental man and Tilda Swanson is a Caucasian woman, so I don't understand why they couldn't have gotten a guy who's Asian to play this part, but they didn't. She actually works really well in this part. I enjoyed watching her, but it's just like on The Martian when they changed that. I just think they couldn't find an Indian actor for that role, or maybe they just didn't have time or whatever. But they could have found an Indian actor. They just, they wanted um, a certain actor for that role, fine. But it's the same thing. They wanted this actor for that role. And it just, it works, but it's not really true to the comics. So I am deducting points for that because if, you know, the, the comic book does a really good job of telling this story. It's just, it's beautiful. I want to talk right now. I want to just get into it because I can't, I can't wait any longer. I want to get into the film technique of this movie. The comic itself is like, a, it's, it's, it's written like in the 70s and the late 60s. It's like an acid trip. It's like Scooby-Doo on acid. It's beautiful though. It's so much fun to read. It's this whole new world he's going into. It's, you know, ancient mystics, philosophies, and you, you know, in martial arts, and all these ancient elements in this place, you know, these ancient mystic elements, that give him superpowers. This is the place he's going to. And to film that and not be cheesy and not be stuck in the 1970s, the way they filmed it was they took the film techniques from Inception, they took film techniques from The Matrix, and it's a lot of the bending and the curving and the moving of the fixtures. And it's just gorgeous. It's so beautifully 
shot. I mean, I was like this, watching it. Like, oh, it was just gorgeous. So please don't think that they're ripping off The Matrix and Inception. It's just there's only so many ways right now they can film things. And I just think they did a good job filming with like that bending textural technique, not to come off rip offy like, you know, copycat, but to give you an honest depiction of, look, he's in a whole new world and this is where it is. And this is how we separate the old world from the new world. I, and I, that honestly was my favorite part of the movie. Rachel McAdams is in this movie. I don't remember her. So? Chidwell Okafor, he is in this movie and he is amazing. He ends up being, he's kind of like a comic relief. Silius is in it, but he's not in it. And I remember I said this about the Suicide Squad where you see Joker for maybe three seconds. Okay, same thing here. You see the villain, but you don't see the villain. So he's there, but what they're basically doing, and this is just a standard Marvel uh, structure, is they give you a taste of the villain, but in the next movie, they'll focus more on him. You know, they'll hold, do a whole movie with him. So this one is just like, you know, to, it's, it's, he's just the appetizer. You're not going to see much of him. Uh, he's there for like a second, but please don't get hyped for him because he's not in this movie. Neither is Rachel McAdams. And him not being in this movie is probably my only, or not getting a little bit more of him, is probably one of my main criticisms. That and the whitewashing of the ancient one. Uh, otherwise, too, the structure is a little generic, but remember, Suicide Squad played with their structure and people didn't like it. So I kind of understand them playing safe with Doctor Strange. Another thing, too, is this whole, you know, rich, sophisticated, egomaniac, the Bruce Waynes, the Iron Mans, that, that whole guy, the way they've been written, and I grew up with this, I grew up with this criticism, I've said it like a thousand times, it just feels like a naked Ken doll that's their base, and they write around it, and that, it kind of gets old, so that too is a little bit of a criticism, not necessarily to the movie, but that's more to Stan Lee and to the writers, I'm sorry, not sorry, but it feels like it's, that's just like your your base dough and yeah <laughs> but the good thing about it is once you get past that it's a whole different story so don't even compare him to Batman or Iron Man this is a whole different story but I understand the whole oh it starts off so similar I understand that criticism because I grew up with that crap and it's been annoying me for a good 400,000 years now who's going to see this movie the projection of the box office is around I think it's 65 to 70 million here right now. It's going to shatter that. I say this is easily a 90 to, I'm saying a 90 to 100, 100 million dollars it'll take in this weekend. Easily, if not more, that's just my conservative estimate. Who's going to see this? I think it's anybody who enjoys comic book movies, which means everybody. It's it's the Cumberbatch fans. It's, I mean, he, he got a fandom, homie. It's the Cumberbatch fans. It's anybody who's into Sherlock, anybody who loves him, anybody who's a Marvel fan. So basically, anybody that doesn't plan on sleeping on their couch this weekend is going to see this movie. Just, it's Marvel and DC and just the comic book genre has just blown up. It's just open to everybody now. And they are taking full advantage of that. So that's who I see watching this movie. Everybody who is not a raccoon, who doesn't want to chill in a tree this weekend, everybody's gonna go see this movie. So on scale, I'm telling you, I just, I love, 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 love this movie. On a scale of one in 10, what am I giving it? It's, I'm going with like a 9.5. Oh no, girl, I know. A 9.5, it was so, it was good. It was entertaining writing, good pacing, good writing. It, it's just, it's a formula, it, it did follow the formula though, and that gets stale, and that bothered me, but Benedict Cumberbatch pretty much takes your mind off all of that for two hours, and visual, I'm talking about visually. Uh, if you are into editing, if you're into graphics, if you are into production, if you're into video, you are going to want to see this movie just because of the beautiful way it bends and just the beautiful, just the strokes and the lines and all oh, the framing, all of those technical things in this movie. It's a dream if you're, if you want to geek out on like film production, go see this movie because it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a good ride. All right.
right, you guys. So that's it for me. Nine. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Damn it. Nine and a half. It was a good, good, solid movie. It was a good time. It was fun. Also, too, I like the comic books. I did enjoy the Doctor Strange comic books growing up. And they gave a really good retelling of it. They didn't, they really didn't screw up the story. So that, that helped ease my heart. So it's a good, strong movie. And so far, I'm telling you, Batman vs. Superman in this movie, I, I think I'm just going to have to do a movie, uh, review having them go at each other because these two so far we're almost at the end of the year god we're almost at the end of the year two more months to go basically we got this month we got next month and that's it 2016 is over so those two movies are the movies to beat for me this year i know y'all are gonna get mad about me not loving captain america i didn't hate it just didn't love it so yeah that's fine he's too he's too goody goody for me i i like i, I like the darker <laughs> The darker, the darker the story, the more I'm there, homie. So, so that's all it is. Feel free to yell at me in the comments. That's okay. You always do. So, go ahead and show it. Let me know. Let me know. It's kind of like to a prequel to not. It's not a prequel to Sherlock, but it's almost like, uh, oh, Sherlock's been gone so long. Here's a bone. Throw you a bone.